I'm starting off today's episode by running the extremely loud and annoying Zero Tick Sugarcane Farm. That's because I'm stocking up. I'm stocking up big time. I've hit a few realizations today and it's not good. It's not good on several fronts. I have been working and tinkering away with the base. I have lowered this a couple of blocks and I've been wondering what I'm actually going to do with the inside. And I've come to several conclusions. One, this area up here will not be big enough for an enormous item sorter. So, I'm gonna have to move it underground. Realization number two, underground doesn't exist. I've got to mine it all out. And then realization number three is if I want to use this space as an underground area for my item sorter, I'm gonna have to get rid of this. Now I'm gonna have to get rid of this anyway because 1.16 update will make this obsolete and not work. But I'm probably gonna have to get rid of it before then. So, welcome to Hermitcraft. Lots of realizations. Lots of, oh, I didn't think this through in today's episode. However, it is good news that I have got a steady plan for what we're going to do. Now today I hope to work a little bit more on this section being repeated over here and getting some more details in. And I really hope to get something really impressive going on here. I accidentally made something that works super well. This staircase goes up really far, but actually when you're walking through here, this long corridor, I think this looks really, really impressive. So I reckon if this gets extended and this gets mined out, this could end up looking pretty impressive. So we'll leave this running for a little bit and we'll just fill up an enormous amount of double chests full of sugar cane. It's gonna take a while, but it's gotta be done. Gotta stock up for the rest of the season. The rest of the season, people. And I also noticed the game of noughts and crosses continues. I've actually got rid of the bell that was here because it was actually driving me mad. Boom, let's have a look. I think, like I said, I think this is gonna end up in a tie. Yeah, this is, uh, this is gonna be a tie. Look here. Well, you know what? Actually, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm gonna let, I'll, I'll let him take the win, shall I? But everyone, you have to pretend like, he, you have to pretend like he did this all by himself. What a clever mumbo. What a clever mumbo. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. I'm green. I'm going for the win. Look at that. I put next there. Put this in. Enjoy your win, mumbo. I hope it brings you happiness. Whoa. 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 Hi. Hi. Why aren't you wearing any feet? 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 Why aren't you, why aren't you wearing any socks? <laughs> Where's your armor? <laughs> <laughs> I can see, I can see his pink slippers. Uh, hi. How can I help you? How can I help you, Mr. Pink Slippers? Hmm? I have prizes and stuff. For what? Oh, I totally forgot about the headhunt. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna call Scar. Hi. Um, I have a confession. Go on. Well, I came over here to give you the prize, but it's not in my ender chest, and I don't know where it's at. Are you telling me that we won? Is that... Is that what happened? Yeah, but the worst part of it is that I don't know what the diamonds happened. Where did they go? So, They're lost. So we we won, but you've lost my half of the prize pool. Well, you could help me go look in some of my chests for them. Have you got a chest monster? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, come on. How many points did we win by? I didn't. I didn't actually get to see the ceremony of who won. I have no idea. <laughs> I heard that we won, and that's all it counted. Cool. I don't think the diamonds is all that you've lost, because I think, you know, I can see your pink slippers. I did, I, did, I lost the diamonds, but I did, I did get you this. One large armor stand scene. Oh, is this from Cleo? Yeah. That is awesome. Yeah, oh put the goodness. diamonds, okay, man. I'm putting, I'm putting in that, but, you know, uh, I'm not going to let this, this diamond thing slide, so you're going to have to <laughs> <laughs> locate those diamonds for me. I'm going to find them. I, I could use some help if you if you don't mind. Fine, fine. Oh my... Are you serious? Dude, um, I've also maybe. got a massive chess monster growing as well. Like, <laughs> I started off being really organized, and then it just descended into this. I, I, I You know, it's just going to take a little bit of time here to find them. <laughs> Oh, I lost, I lost everything. <laughs> what have you done? I found them. You found the diamonds? I found them. You yeah, found them? up here, up here. Found them. Uh, I'm coming. Come in here. Um, yeah, yeah, right here. Right here. 32? Yeah. Boom. 32 blocks of diamonds. Oh man, that feels good. Okay, well, uh, good luck with your, um, 
problems. <laughs> and <laughs> also high five for the diamonds, right? High five? Oh, did you see that high five? That was like a chest bump. Here, let's do it again. I mean, that's pretty nice. Oh, no. What's happened? Uh, either lag broke this machine or because I unloaded the chunks, it didn't work. Okay, hold on. Let's see if we can fix this. It should be as simple as just placing these back in. Oh. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is really bad. Stop! Stop! This is an actual nightmare. You know what? This might be... This might be one of those times where I just fix it later. Ah! It's just, it, every time I fix it, it just breaks itself and I can't, I can't cope with this today. I can't cope with this. Oh, I totally took, I was meant to only take 16 diamonds blocks. Whoops. Uh, is, oh, Scar's gone offline now. Hmm. I'm going to give these back, but you know what? I'm going <laughs> to, I'm going to make a little, uh, little beard for Larry here. Now I've only got 16 blocks, so I've kind of got to move them sparingly. I don't want, I don't want Scar to think I just, like, I just nabbed all of his profit. Because he worked, he worked hard on this. And we worked, I think we worked really well as a team. There we go. Larry the Snail is now wearing a bling beard. <laughs> I think that has actually made me far more wealthy than I was before. 16 on 6. 22 blocks of diamond. Not a bad place to start. I'm really glad that we won the headhunt. It was a lot of fun. But now it's time to work on the other game that's going on the server. Yeah, there is another game. We actually started it, remember? Remember? Tag 2. Electric Boogaloo. Now that that's going... Ooh, what is this? Do not touch this until the signs are gone. Do Cheers, Mumbo. Is it just a box with a button? Is there something up there? I don't understand. I don't understand the thing. Why are there lots of redstone lamps? Anyway, as I was saying, we're gonna go over to the shopping district. What a weird machine. It's actually been a while since I've been in the shopping district. I haven't had a good look around. Oh my goodness. It's starting to transform quite a lot and I've still just got my tiny little barge going on over there. Don't worry, we'll do something about this. And look at the size of the diamond pile. We have to do something about that too. But look at this. This is uh, Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo. It's looking very sad. So I'm thinking what we need to do is since Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo kind of got put to the wayside while the head game was going on, I just let it go. You know, just, just let it tick on in the background. But now, now that the head game is done, it's time to ramp things up. We need to make this uh, more inviting to play. Now, since lots of people have already signed up, I don't know, people can still sign up if they want to, but since that's all done, I think we should make something a little bit more tasteful for this and show how many diamonds are actually up for grabs. So we'll take one of our brand new diamonds, we'll pop it here on the pile, and we'll make ourselves a nice little area for Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo. Let's go. Uh, it's certainly not its older brother, which is the enormous pile of diamonds. It's its slightly younger brother, um, the Tag 2 Electric Boogaloo prize pool. Now, obviously, this looks a little bit... well, it's not a lot. Let's put it that way. And that's probably why the hermits aren't as interested in the tag as they should be. So, to kind of combat this, I'm going to add my own diamonds to the pool and some also some incentive boxes. There's a full shulker box full of golden carrots, always worth it. A full shulker box full of gravel and a full shulker box full of sand. And this is just to kick it off, just to ramp things up a little bit. So, the prize pool will grow and grow and grow as I get more and more stuff and hopefully people will get more and more invested in collecting the tag. Actually, I have no idea who actually has the tag. Does, it, does anybody know? Does anybody know who has the tag? So these are all the people that are currently playing and you can still sign up if you want to add to the prize pool. Okay, so that's looking a little bit better. Again, there's no point in making this look absolutely phenomenal, fantastic, just because, well, the game will end and I'll have to take it all back down again. So this is just a better way of visually showing what's on offer. Now the next question, what do we do about the HMS GGG, Great Green Goodies? Well, 
I actually have a plan now. I have a plan, and I'm gonna have to claim all of this water before it all goes. I'm gonna I'm gonna use all this up. But my plans keep changing. Mm. But I've I've finally settled settled on an idea, and I'm gonna go for it. So let's quickly expand this as much as possible, and that mm. means we're also gonna have to invest these diamonds that I've been saving up. I got 13 diamond blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Alright, we'll put 12 of these onto the enormous pile of diamonds to cover our place. Boom. And then we have now claimed all of this water. So let's quickly expand this. At some point, it stops becoming a barge and more like an enormous wooden platform. And I think we've reached that point. Some of you might be thinking this looks pretty cool. A lot of you will be thinking, wow, this looks really ugly. And I am inclined to agree, agree with you slightly. It's not the best looking thing in the world. But remember, this is an investment project. The more we sell, the more we invest in it. And it's actually about the size that I want it to be. So if we get some more sales on these platforms, we can upgrade this further. And I'm thinking a full on structure on top of the wooden platform is due next. But for that, we're gonna need more stock. We're gonna need some more diamonds. Whoa, I left this just overnight and it's already sold loads. Well, the investment continues people. Oh my goodness. This thing moves faster than I can uh, than I can deal with. So I've added a couple of things here. I've added some more golden carrots in its own platform, and I've added name tags, and you get one diamond for four. Now they sound quite expensive. That's because they are. They are 15 emeralds each. So one diamond for a name tag is not a bad deal, actually. And then I've set up a bunch of platforms for future stock. Now there's no point upgrading this platform until all of these things are stocked up. So I need to decide. What am I gonna sell? Look, I say, more stock soon. More stock coming soon! I have more stock soon! I said soon! <laughs> okay, there's no stock here, seriously. <laughs> so hopefully, we'll get some more sales, and we'll be able to upgrade this even further. But before we depart, I actually want to give this uh, a little bit of greenery in here, because it's uh, looking, I don't know, it looks a bit, I don't know, dead around it. So we'll add some seagrass under the platform. There we go, that already looks a lot better, just with some seagrass in it. Absolutely perfect. Now, I bet a lot of you won't even guess where this is going next, but my priority now is to get this stock installed. And now we can head back to the base. I've been tinkering with a few things off camera, and I think I know what I want to do next. So one thing that I've done is actually started having a little go with this corridor, and I think I've sort of nailed what I want to do. I, I, I essentially want an extremely long corridor with some really nice pillars and some nice rounded tops. And I also spent a long time fixing this thing, which uh, was an absolute nightmare, but looks like it's all good now, I hope. So I have prepared a lot of blocks for what we're going to need, the terracotta, uh, the concrete powder and all of the stony type stuff that we're gonna need. Now I think we should just go for it. All right, let's go. Every time I sit down to do a time lapse on this build, I think, yeah, this time I'm gonna get loads done. Well, four and a half hours later, and all we really got done was a mirror of the other side. I have added this little bit of detail on the front, which I think is good, but I haven't quite sussed out how to detail some of the other bits. Now, you might have noticed right at the end of the time lapse that I've started carving away at this. 
that's because I have figured out what I'm going to put here, so that might be what I do next. But I am just hacking away slowly at this build. Bit by bit, it is getting steadily and steadily bigger and bigger. Uh, oh, smaller and smaller in some cases. Once again, I find myself short of certain resources, a dark prismarine, for example, so I'm gonna head over to the shopping district to grab some more. Oh, 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 I was just passing through. The signs are gone, the signs are gone. What does the button do? It just, it just puts the lights back on. Oh, that, <laughs> uh, purple concrete, cool. You know, maybe I should have read the book before I pressed the button. I'm gonna read the book. The button, what is it? The button is alive and has to be kept alive by being pressed. Basically, I'm a hero. I've saved the button. The closer to death the button is when you save it, the higher rank you get, signified by a colored belt put on your skin. How does it work? If you press the button, the redstone lamps will fill back up and you will get a colored piece of concrete. This is your rank. And then you should attach the rank to your skin. Should you laugh at people who are a lower rank than you? Yes, 100% yes. There is no grey belt, that is not a rank. Uh, it's all fun and games, but people with purple belts should be ridiculed. Long live the button. Oh no. Oh no. This is why you read the book first <laughs> before you press the button. Oh no. I can't even, I can't even, I've been rumbled. I can't even act like I didn't just get this. <laughs> oh no. I better go and see what this purple belt thing is all about. Oh look. It's on my hand. Look on my hand. Maybe maybe for me first, but look. I'm gonna wear this with pride. You don't have to make fun of me just because I got the purple belt. I call this purple power if you ask me. I'm gonna add this in here. Purple belts, welcome here. <laughs> right, we actually came here for some dark prismary before we got distracted by a wild button. I mean, that's how you get me, isn't it? Just put a button somewhere, I'll press it. That's how it works. I'll just press it. I'm getting really close. Real close. <laughs> Wowie! Okay, right, let's, uh, I need, actually need a tiny bit more. One, two, three, and back we go. Okay, so now that we've actually made a bit of progress here, I want to start doing some work underneath here. Now, you can see that I started. I actually want to do a little bit more to make this look a bit nicer. So, I'm going to need to get myself a few blocks. Whoa! What is this? Hi, thank you for getting my stuff back. Here is a gift, four dragon wings from the Triwizard Tournament first task. Oh my goodness. Okay, so again, this is something that happened off camera, but Scar died and Cub and I went searching for his stuff and we found it. And he's given me a bunch of stuff. Thanks, Scar. That's real kind of you. I'm going to need these. At s oh, look at that Chinese fireball Welsh green dragon. Oh, he's named them all after Harry Potter dragons. Why was I here? Oh, so I was thinking I need to decorate these and I want it to look really, really fancy and elegant. And one thing you can do to all of your pillars to make them look that little bit nicer is at the bottom, just add some trap doors and it gives it that little extra bit of foundation beneath it. And then what I'm going to do here is try and create a nice archway. I want to try and create some really nice detailing with it if I can. And then to get some of those finer angles, I can use some trap doors. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's an army after me. All right, I'm bailing out of this one. Okay, I have a bit of an issue with the amount of mobs that are here. I think that looks pretty good. The issue here, though, is the stone in the ceiling. So I'll have to think of something for that. But on the whole, I think this is turning out to be quite a nice little entrance that we got going on here. I need to choose a nice floor block, and then I've got the daunting task of actually excavating the whole of the inside. I think this has been a pretty good episode in terms of base building, but I'm gonna have to tinker away with this off camera a little bit to try and work out what I want to do here. Now, before we end this episode, I actually want to go back to the button machine because I've got the purple belt right here and I'm, I'm quite happy. Um, but I would really like to collect all of them. All of the belts. Oh. Boop. Green! <laughs> I think there's people waiting there. <laughs> Yay! Woohoo! <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> What's going on? 
What's going, going on? Okay, so I need the blue, the yellow, the orange, and then finally the red. Is there, is there a problem? <laughs> I saw the opportunity and I took it. I think Doc's. I think I think Doc was maybe waiting for a better belt, and I've just I've come in, <laughs> come in and swooped it. <laughs> He's like looking off into the distance, like, what have I become? <laughs> this button game. I love it. It's so stupid. All right, so now I got the green one too. <laughs> Mumbo, what have you done? I don't know if I really want to. I mean, good luck. Good luck waiting for that to be red because I think as soon as it becomes any color, I'm just going to press it. <laughs> I'm just going to press it. Well, I actually think that I want to try and collect them all instead of changing out. I think that would be a lot of fun. And who knows? Maybe if I collect them all, I might be able to.